Hey guys, good to see you again. We're still hanging out in Nelson for the moment because I was looting the place and look at this. We have a uniquely named machete thing. That's pretty cool. I don't know that we'll end up using it at all, but it's worth a lot and it doesn't weigh much. So that's pretty great. It came from Dead Sea, who is right here. He's dead, you see. And <laughs> um, yeah, we're pretty much done here. I just wanted to have a look in the barracks because when I went into them for the first time, obviously there was people and maybe I should have expected that because the place is called barracks, but somehow that slipped by me and I was blindsided, but that's okay. You know, we can now have the opportunity to explore this place and take all of their goodies right right it seems most stuff is empty but a few of these crates have stuff in them so all right i'll take it they sure do like their clipboards and smokes don't they and a first aid box and an unfortunate trooper. Hello. I'm hoping I can turn these dog tags into somebody at some point. And maybe get a reward. We'll just have to see. They'll either pay us or they'll just give us reputation. And I'm okay with either thing, I guess. So this is another barracks, which means I should not be ready for combat because there's no one in here. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I know. The little karma man is so mad at me, but I just can't be bothered to care about if I'm stealing or not because all these people are dead anyhow. You know. I'm just scavenging. I'm a prospector, right? Okay. More first aid stuff. That's always good. How come these lockers don't open at all? They look like they should be the kind that do. But that's just my opinion. Nothing at all. Just more buckets. Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. We're done. Time to go get rid of all of this stuff. We have quite a bit of stuff that we picked up here, and I'm thinking I want to mail it off because I don't want to deal with it right now. So we're just going to stuff it in the mailbox. I haven't actually found the mailbox yet in Novak, but I feel like there should definitely be one. Okay, do I want to go get my face repaired first? No, I'll find her later. I don't even know where she is. I am happy that she seems to hang out here, though. Wait a minute. Is it close enough to nighttime for the night guard to be there? It's 7.10. What time does his shift end? When does the guard change? I still haven't seen or spoken to Boone, the night watchman whose wife went How missing. I guess we can at least look. I don't think he'll be here at 7, though. Hey, he is. Hey, buddy. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I just wanted to say hello. Um, are you expecting any visitors, man? Because I'm visiting you. Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? I just wanted to get to know you if you're looking for someone in particular. I could tip you off if I see them. Well, that's true. I just want- I like meeting new people! This is so me! I like meeting new people, Boone. I think you better leave. Oh, are you kidding me? I just want to make friendly conversation! Yeah! I don't have friends here. Well, it's never too late to make any. I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? No, I'm not! Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. That's right, you want to be friends with me, don't you? I knew it! It's because I'm idolized with Novak, isn't it? So now you want something, huh? What do you want? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. Nice. Trusting is strangers, so you only trust strangers. I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Why? Because your wife? Anyway, what do you want me to do, buddy? 
I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. Well, I can do that. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. Oh. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. Oh, so you're trying to track her down? Well, she's probably dead. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Got it. Wait, sold her? How do you know that she was killed and sold? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Okay, I can do that. How do you expect me to find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. Oh. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Okay, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. Okay. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Okay. I guess I have to figure out what happened. Okay, bye, Boone. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Okay. Cool. We're gonna be part of a murder plot. Isn't that exciting? I know I'm excited. Okay. So I wanted to find the mailbox and if it's gonna be here I think it will either be over by that gas station or over here maybe inside this so since this is closer let's have a little peeky peek peekity peek peek peekity peek 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 hey there it is nice let's ship stuff to well first let's get the stuff from Eddie he's carrying a lot thanks buddy lots of guns there's the energy cells that I said he was holding. I just thought I would have him carry some spare ammo because I had quite a bit of that before I used it all. And it's a little bit heavy, the energy ammo is. So I'm thinking we probably do want to get the pack rat perk. That's the one that decreases the weight of stuff, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, where do I want to ship to? Good Springs, I think. But yeah, it decreases the weight of anything that's under two pounds, right? So that should work on ammo, and that would be great. Do I want to mail off the Liberator? I'll keep it with me for a little bit, because it's kind of neat. I don't know really why I want to hold on to it, but I do. What if we get into a situation again where I need a, a melee weapon? It might be good for that. Hopefully that won't happen, though. I would prefer to keep my distance. We'll just have to see. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Mail off a little bit of food and stuff that I just really don't need. Probably just going to sell it. Definitely not going to use it. And we just have so many sarsaparillas. Okay, that's too many. I can't be carrying 19 pounds of soda. We need to do something about that. This and that and that and these. And that, I guess. Okay, whoa, that's a lot of cartons of cigarettes. What am I doing with those? Okay, there we go. I'll deal with that later. Okay. So while we're actually here, do we need to sleep any? Let's do a quick check. Well, a little bit, but we're not we're not that tired. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. I want to ask around a little bit. And see what we can learn. Victor, do you know anything? Hey there, friend. Do you happen to know anything about No, you don't. Well, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you to stay out of my Be way. Be seeing you. See ya. Let's go to the doctor and get our head examined. <laughs> we do that quite a bit. She probably likes us. You know, she's probably a big fan of us because we keep going to her. We're definitely her best customer. If she's even still out here, I was starting to get the impression that she just stays in Novak because she's been here for at least at least like two days. She's been hanging out here. And so I thought maybe she would still be here, but she might travel around. I don't really know. Yeah, I know. It's the middle of the day and I'm turning on the light. 
Uh, well, I don't really want to steal anything, so I guess I'm not going to be looting that little house. Seriously, though, where is she? And I should probably go in these... There we go. Hey! I was looking for you, my favorite doctor. Well, what not can I really. do for you? Doc Mitchell's better. Sorry. Okay, I need you to help me. That yes, I know you left the thing out in the sun. Oh. Whatever, free tetanus. Thanks. Appreciate it. Give me my shot. Hurry up and give me my shot. Thanks! All right, let's look in these houses. See if we can find out what happened to Boone's wife. Hi, settler. Okay, that's fine. Go right back outside. That's cool. I don't care. Hi. With all the people passing through lately, the town's been doing better than, well, ever. Oh, okay. But, I mean, okay. I wanted to argue against that and say that's not what Manny said. He said that you guys weren't doing so hot since those ghouls took over, but I guess now that it's, um... Did you see all the commotion nothing. at Repcon? I hope that doesn't mean trouble for our town. It doesn't. Look, we can play with the tumbleweeds. I like them. I do. But I'm going to leave it alone. It bounced too far away. We have other more important things to attend to. Oh, look. What a nice decoration. Very neat. And there's more. This is the McBride house. Alice McBride. Hello. What brings you here? Well, I want to know about Boone's wife. How did Nobart get his name? What do you think of the people who live here? I just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice. And that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. Really? I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings. <laughs> oh. But he still sticks around. What a great guy. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. Oh, I see. Have you lived here a long time? We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Well, cool. Do you know anything about Boone's wife? Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? Yeah. I only met them but once or twice. Mm -hmm. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. She doesn't sound like she knows that the wife is even gone. How did Nobart get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Oh. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Oh. Poor Nobart. Oh, I get it. Okay. What do you think of the other people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Oh. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Oh, so Not she's that like... there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. He is, Part of me he? wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. He does see things very interestingly, does he not? Okay, thank you, Alice. Nice of you to visit. Nice of you to talk to me. I like her. She's very friendly. So, Jeannie is kind of like the... Not like a mayor, but she's like in Man, charge, kind of. Things treating you all right? Yeah. Hi, Dusty. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her. Like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone. That's for darn sure. That's probably because someone wanted her dead. Maybe she knew about it, and that's why she wasn't content with being settled down here. What do you do in Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Okay. I heard that you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. What can you tell me about that? Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over Every again. night? But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. 
Just leave it there, all full of holes. It's probably some psycho crazy person. I want to see if I can help. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Okay. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Well, that's a good attitude to have. Did you get any kind of look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Got Not it. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. <laughs> Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. If... Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Okay, good to know. Thank you. So long. I like how he said that if even half of what Nobark says is true, they're in trouble. But, like, if half of what he says is true, that's whack anyway. Hey, so, she said it's been 50 years. Does she look like she's 50 years old to you? Like, she has aged well. Like, she has look gray hair. Here. But she doesn't have, like, any wrinkles. You're very pretty, Alice. I like you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Maybe that's why her husband hasn't left for something younger and with hoop earrings. Let's see. This is the most recent one to have died. And this happens every night at midnight. So we could just hang out here until midnight. But it's the middle of the day. It is like 9.13 in the morning. Yeah, so there's no way I'm going to just sit out here for all that time. Why don't we make use of the day by trying to learn about Boone's wife? McBrides didn't know anything, and I think this house is all boarded up, maybe. But perhaps we... Yeah, it's all boarded up. Nothing interesting in the mailbox either. What a disappointment. But maybe there's someone else who knows something. We can talk to... Genie, I actually could have talked to the shopkeeper too on my way out of the dino, dinky dino place, but I didn't. So maybe we'll go back there. Maybe Nobark knows something. Though I don't know how much I trust him, even if he did have something to tell us. He might just tell us that she was killed by an invisible chupacabra. And I tell you, if that was the case, that would be fun to lure over. To be shot. So is there a nefarious way to do this? You know what I'm saying? Like, could you be super evil and just, like, pick the absolute wrong person and lure them out there just because you didn't like them? Not that I would do that. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Yeah, I just wanted to know... Wait, what's wrong with Boone? Why is it worded like that? What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. Yeah, poor guy. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. Well, that is also a possibility. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Well, if she had the Legion out for her, then I can understand that. What can you tell me about her? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but... There was just no getting close to her. Oh, I see. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Huh. That's an interesting take on it. Thank you, Jeannie. Watch out for strangers. I will. I definitely will. Okay, back outside. Jeannie didn't have a whole lot to offer. Manny doesn't know anything else. I think if he did, he would have told us. Hello. Unless he's the one that killed her. But I... I have a hard time fathoming that. You know? I just really don't think it was him. Hey, Daisy. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Flying? Are you a pilot? Vertebrate pilot. Whoa. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Nice. Hard landing, but I walked away. So are you with the Enclave or the Brotherhood or something? What do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. 
engines mostly. Okay. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Did you fly for the NCR? For? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Well, all right. Thanks, Daisy. Watch your six out there. I will. Actually, I have Eddie to watch my six, so I should be fine. Anybody in this room? Hello? Noodles. Yummy. And a star cap. Yes, thanks. Anything else? A regular bottle cap? Yeah, I know. Theft. Blah, blah, blah. So on and so forth. All right. And nothing interesting in there. Empty dresser. Okay. We got a star bottle cap, so that wasn't a total buzz. There goes Boone. He's done for the day. I suppose I can... Hey, Bruce Isaac. What's up? Oh, uh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... What? Wait. You, you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? I don't even know who Mr. Bishop is. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? Oh, really? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Do I? I'm not sure that's quite accurate, but thank you. I guess I'm flattered. Are you the singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Well, I I mean, not really. I don't remember that at all. Why would Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Uh-oh. You robbed a casino boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Well, that's a way to, to, um, get a man mad, I suppose. You don't know when to quit, do you, friend? I guess I don't. That's why I'm here. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a tough break. Good luck with that. Thanks. Wait, what is that? What was that other option? It was like... Okay, let's ask him about being a singer. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. But you still needed to steal money? Why did you come out here from New Reno? Well, we already you know. You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Well, if he likes to go in the wasteland, he could run you down here, too. Uh, well, okay, let's go back through here. So... You ran all the way to Novak, huh? I figured it might take him a while to understand his accounting error and cool down a little. Also, I might... Uh, yeah, you've already mentioned that. Okay. I'll let you know if I find any work for a singer. This is what I was talking about. Weird. Okay. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Okay. Bye. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. See ya. I don't know that we'll find work for a singer. And if we did, would we really want to recommend a guy like this? I mean, someone who steals from his employer. I mean, and you can argue that it was his paycheck if money was owed to him, which it may very well have been. Let's do a little bit of trespassing. What do you think? Whose room is this? Some junkies for sure. Anybody in here? I'm surprised there's nobody dead in the... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I will take the Hydra. Less crippled limbs is a good thing. Okay. And what is this one? Okay, that one requires keys. So that's the one we can go into if we rent it. Nice. And this is Manny's room. I guess we'll go in here. Uh, hey, Chris, what are you doing in in Manny's house? You sure are making friends hey. quick. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. Heck yeah, they My are. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. Yeah, yeah, no prob. But 
Um, you haven't heard anything about Boone's wife, have you? Well, I... I can't believe that's not theft, but okay. I guess I will use his computer. Message to Con Hospitality. Manny, you've made the right choice putting us up and keeping it quiet. This weasel Benny's been twitchy since we stole that package from his boss. Making me nervous as hell, but when I found out we'd be passing through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cons say what they want. I know you're where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. Mick Murphy. I suppose I could have read that rather than doing his whole quest. It's not even locked up, so it's not like that information's even hard to get. What about this one? Whose room is this? Somebody who likes vodka, evidently. And alcohol. And who has a habit of stopping up the toilet. Oh, look at the one little mushroom growing out of the tub. That is adorable. I mean, maybe that's not the normal type of thing to say about fungus. Okay, never mind. Just forget it, guys. It's fine. Okay, and then you are Boone's room. Well, I just talked to Boone, so we're going to leave him alone. Let's go check in with Cliff. See what's up. Maybe he'll know something. Somebody in this town has to know something. Hey, Cliff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? I need to know about Boone's wife. Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had That's a look weird. on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Okay. Maybe she just had that sort of face. Okay. Well, bye. Come back soon now. I kind of do still want to buy his rockets, but we're not going to do it right now. I don't know what I could possibly use them for. So, we will just leave them be for the moment. All right. So, who's left to talk to? No bark? No bark. Do you know anything? Hey. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. Oh, really? What do you know about... Actually, yeah, has anybody been acting weird recently? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him. Because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing That's probably his pants true. on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. I like the way you but think. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Wait, what? Okay. What do you think about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell could uh -oh. be that person went in to get something or used the john maybe mighty interesting either way you ask me <laughs> yeah that's I thought so it was interesting cannibals come to eat us all for sure oh so i kept out of sight oh but now i know better do you who was it more rat men oh, goodness. come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. Okay. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said. Oh, no. Being either bald or balding themselves. That's just awful. Thank you, Nobark. I will look out for the hair-coveting mole rats. If anyone asks, we never spoke. We never spoke. We never spoke. Okay, let's go back in the dino lobby and see what's going on. So, something, some evidence of someone passing through, huh? Hmm. I do quite like first aid boxes, but I'm not willing to get myself in trouble 
about it. Okay, what am I looking for exactly? Hey there. Hey there. It's probably that safe, isn't it? Well, how am I supposed to get in that safe? She's going to notice. Oh, look at the little keys hanging up in this little box. That's a nice detail. I can't take them, though, but it's still a nice detail. Um, right. Okay. Let's turn the light off. And hopefully we'll have a little bit of success here without getting in too much trouble. Okay, what have we got? Bill of sale? Oh, no. No. Goodness. What is this? We, the representatives of the Consul Officiorium, have this day bargained the purchase from Jeannie May Crawford of the Township of Novak, the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone. Oh, goodness gracious. For the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child. Oh, no. For the sum of 500. No. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sold healthy and slaves for life. We uh, covenant with the said... Jeannie May Crawford. I can't even read this. This is upsetting. <laughs> that we have full power to bargain and sell that slave and her offspring. No payment and the additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus and claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. Oh, Jeannie. No. No. Okay, so I need to get her outside at nighttime. Hey I... There. Hey. No, I liked you, girl. Why'd you have to go slaver on me, hun? I thought you were like the little town grandma. This is upsetting. Okay, well. Okay. Gosh. All right. I guess we need to talk to her. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. I mean, no, not really. Not... Not really. Okay. Watch out for strangers. Yeah, for real. You're the stranger everybody needs to watch out for. Let's go talk to... Well, I can't talk to Boone. It's the middle of the daytime. You know, we need to wait for nighttime to do the cow thing anyway. So maybe we'll just do that. Not that I want to rent a room from you, though. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Yeah, not really. Just give me a room, please. I can't see is how I'd charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. You're so fake the room's nice. on me. You're so fake Your nice. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. You're so fake nice. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Bye. Watch out for strangers. You're the stranger everyone needs to watch out for, Genie. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's just go back upstairs. It's totally fine. It's totally great. This is great. This is fine. Everything's fine. It's great. Okay. So this is our room. All right. Great. Good. I can totally enjoy it. It's actually pretty nice. If I'm being honest, though, the bathroom is trash. Wait, is the bathroom really that trash? It is. They even left cigarettes on the floor. Gross. Okay, well, aside from the bathroom being gross, I do appreciate the posters. It seems like our room has more decoration than the other rooms. And lots of furniture. So that's good. That's good. Let's take a nap. We even have a teddy bear. And it's not just a regular bed. It's a queen bed. Wowee. Well, let's sleep for a little bit. Just for a little bit. And it's eight. We need it to be closer to midnight, but I think I'm going to stick with eight and see about Boone. So, hey, I did no, you, I know. I know I'm not supposed be. to be here. If people know we talked, they'll Oh, that's right. You. Okay. And if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have the legion after both of us. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. 
Just kidding. Don't come here again till it's over. Okay, well, you know, okay, fine. I just, mm, all right, all right, all right. So I'm supposed to get her out there at night. Okay, okay, that's right. We're not supposed to talk to him again. Okay, sorry, Boone. Sorry, you know, maybe you should have hired somebody who's a little bit better at, I don't know, everything. <laughs> everything. Okay, that's 10. Surely he's out there by now. Okay. And then I will put on the hat. Get her out there and put on the hat, correct? Hey. I hope you're finding... Yeah, okay, look. Okay, hang, hang on. No, 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 no. Okay, let me look at the actual quest. Give me a minute, guys. It's fine. Send someone in front of Dinky the Dinosaur. Put on the beret to signal Boon that this is the culprit. Okay. How am I supposed to send you out there? Where are you going? I hope you... Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. You know what? I will be mean to you. You can jump out the window for all I care, lady. You too, actually. You got no right to come in here and start criticizing our town. Mm-hmm. Folks work hard to keep it clean and safe. You sell people to slavers. We do the best we can. But still, there's always some of you finicky types that there's just no pleasing. You sell people into slavery. It seems like a nice town, sorry. Well, it is. Not everybody appreciates it like they ought to. Whatever. Okay. Okay, let's talk about Boone's wife again. Okay, yeah, I've heard all that. Okay, nothing really? That's it? What's wrong with Boone? Anything? Yep. Anything new? Nothing new. Okay. Thank Watch you. out for strangers. How the heck am I supposed to send you out in front of the dinky dino, huh? Hmm. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to do it. I'm I'm just missing something obvious, and that's totally fine. Send someone in front of Dinky the Dino and put on the beret to signal boon that this is a culprit. Okay, well, What's the best way to do that? Okay. Alright. That's fine. Look at all these quest markers. Ranger Andy's bungalow. Wait, so was he... Was he a suspect too? Okay. Okay. We're gonna go over here and check this guy's house. Because I didn't. I actually was ignoring the quest markers for a while. I'm sorry. But it's fine. Hey. Hey. Welcome. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hi, Andy. Nice to meet you. What do you do here? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. I see. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. What can you tell me about his wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I don't know, that's I not the impression I'm getting. I think she just wanted to getting. remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Wait, so she wasn't running from the Legion? Did you do something to your leg? I don't know, did you? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the rangers. Oh. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. Well, that's sad. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind it me. It sounds like the tip was turn bad. Turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. Oh. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. Oh. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Oh, great. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Oh, no. 
Man, I hate the Legion even more now. Uh, your body is injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. That's very true! Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier... Oh, thanks, Andy. There's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, oh, maybe nice. it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. See, there is plenty of stuff that you know that you can teach people. We learned the Ranger takedown special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards, you'll drop your opponent to the ground. Nice! Oh, very cool! I'm not doing melee too terribly much, but... It's very cool. What's your book, though? Oh, I want your book. Gosh, I don't want to steal from you. You're such a fine gentleman. Wait, I actually wasn't done talking to you, Andy. Can you tell me a little bit more about the boon situation? Of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. <laughs> Thanks. Can you tell me about Boone some more? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. Yeah. I told the Rangers up at the station to keep an eye out. But there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. How does he know she's dead? That's what I want to know. You're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I, I still see. like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Oh, well, that's nice. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. Well, that's nice. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Wait, what station is it? Would you feel better if I check on them? I'll check on them for you, totally. Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. What if they need to be checked on, though? Tell me about them. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. I see. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Neat. I will look out for Rangers in black armor. Thank you, Andy. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. You know, I almost stopped in there on the way down here, but I decided to come down here instead. I am planning on going back, though, so now that we know to look for someone, we can do that. Is there anything of interest in Cliff's room? Oh, look, he's put dinos on skates. He must have these coming out his ears. I mean, evidently he does. He has so many of them. <laughs> Look at his couch. Oh, Cliff. This is so entertaining. I like your house. Do you have any in the bathroom? Oh, missed opportunity. You should have put some in here, too. See, you've got plenty. I may have to buy some from him. I do like them. They are... <laughs> they are great. Oh, wait. Is that a trip wire? What is it? Trigger. Wait. Where does it? No, you kicked him off! Cliff, why? Well, they're his toys. I guess I can't tell him how to play with them. So, okay, that's fine. I want to get Genie out in front of the dino. I know I'm just missing something simple, like an idiot. Actually, now that she's gone, I can take all of this. And I shall. Look at that. I didn't lose any karma either. What's going on? So does she go stand over there on her own? And then I go stand over there and put on my hat? And that's the signal? Is that the way this is supposed to go down? I can't believe I'm not losing any karma for this. It's marked as owned, but whatever, I guess. So she went around this way. So she lives in a house. Yeah. Her home. McBride's home. Let's check her home. Right here. Let's check her mailbox too. Make sure she doesn't have any nice magazines. Nope. Just a tire iron. That's a weird thing to keep in a mailbox. Okay. So she's asleep. Okay. 
Yeah, she keeps knives in her dresser. She's not a regular old lady. Definitely not. Her kitchen is boring, though. Wait, it's locked? Why is her fridge locked? Um, do I really want to use one of my lockpick magazines on this? How many do I have? Just one? I just have one lockpick magazine? Well, I... I don't know. What if I need in her fridge, though? Or, like, can I pickpocket her? Oh, it's just her safe key? We already got in the safe. Well! It's almost midnight by now, I guess. It's past midnight by, like, 14 minutes. Surely we don't need to be that precise. You know what, Eddie? I don't know what's gonna happen. How about you just sit over here? If it really is a chupacabra, I don't want you getting eaten. Oh, it's a nightkin, is it not? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, stop. Quit, quit, quit. Quit, quit, quit. That's enough. Hey. Actually, maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't kill him outright. Let's go talk to him. Okay. You know, suddenly no bark was right. He was right. Look, he was right. What a guy. Hey, excuse me. I'm glad that I missed when I tried to shoot you. Maybe not, because can't sleep. Can't sleep. Okay, you know, I don't dislike you guys. I really don't. I really do not dislike the Nightkin. But, but he's killing their cattle. He must be stopped. Really? I place it and you stop? For real? Really? Well, I guess I'll just put two and then switch back to this. Hopefully. Uh, you probably will actually kill me. Okay, okay, hang on. Yeah, Eddie, you get him from over there. Ooh, you're so fast. Look at him go. Oh, right into a telephone pole, too. Hang on. Yeah, okay, come come on. Red Rover, Red Rover, send the night kin on over. I understand. There we go. Hopefully I didn't make the night can hate me. I just, I had to put a stop to you. Screams of ramen. And a minigun. Very cool. I'm sorry, Mr. Nightkin. I just keep killing the Nightkin. I tell you what, it's like I'm unstoppable. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Okay. So he was crazy. That's nice. Let's go tell Alice and Dusty that we solved the mystery. Come here, Eddie. Let's go again. Very interesting. They did lose one more Brahmin, but... Um, it's the best we could do. Hey. Find anything? Yeah, it was a nightkin. No one's going to attack the corral anymore. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. Oh, really? What is and it? And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Oh, thank you. Thanks. So long. Hey, Alice. What brings you here? So, these are the guys... Nice of you to visit. ...that have an option to take them in front of the dinosaur bill of sale. But it was... It was Jeannie who did it. It was Jeannie. It wasn't these guys. Though, I did get a... I hate to admit it, but I did think about these guys whenever... <laughs> so cute. Whenever Nobark said people whose house is perfect um, are hiding something, it did make me think of these guys. But I I don't want to think it was these guys. I think we should have an option to take Genie in front of the dino. Maybe it's because it was the wrong time of day. Maybe it wasn't late enough at night for Boone to be there, so the option wasn't coming up. 
Is everything all right? Yeah, um, I need you to come with me. That's what it was. It just wasn't late enough in the day yet. Okay, come with me in front of the dino. Okay, if that's what you think. I, um, I feel bad. Why do I feel bad? She's a slaver. She's she walks really fast when she wants to though. But look at this. She's very, it's this is very clear that she sold a woman and her unborn child into slavery for the legion nonetheless who will probably use that child to throw grenades at innocent rangers like Andy. So I shouldn't feel bad. I really shouldn't. Okay. I can't believe I liked her. I did. I liked her. I trusted her. I thought she was like a sweet little town granny. I mean, it's the same with Trudy. I like Trudy in Good Springs. You know. How far out is she gonna... gonna go? I guess I'll stand on this rock to signal Boone. You can see me really well, can't you, friend? Well, I don't want to... Well, maybe not, because I don't want to be standing... Okay, I don't want to be standing this close to her. When she gets killed, she's going to get splattered, is she not? Okay. Hat. I'm wearing the hat. Yeah, okay. Splat. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Jeannie. I don't even need her safe key or anything. All right, we did it. Let's take off the hat. Well, let's look at it first. It's precious. It looks better on me than you, Boone. Can I keep it? You're going to want your hat back, aren't you? But he has to admit that this looks fierce on me, okay? It's just true. Such a good fashion accessory. Too bad we're going to have to give it up. But at least he'll be happy that we succeeded with this. Boony. Boon, boon. That's it, then. How did you know? I found this bill of sale... I just want to kill her. No, I found this bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Oh, so the quest is called One for My Baby because she was pregnant. I just now picked up on that. Are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides... I see. I was on break when it happened. Where are you? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do now, bud? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now. But what about your friend Manny? I Maybe see. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Well, that sounds good. Why don't you come with me? We can hunt them together. Yeah, man. You don't even know what I just did over there at Nelson. You don't want to do that. Oh. I thought snipers worked well on teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Why? Fine. Let's get out of here. Heck yeah! Spotter perk. Let's check that out. Or is it going to give me a tooltip for it? Let's do it. Let's just check it on our own then. Perks. Spotter. While Boone is a companion, hostile targets are highlighted whenever the player is actively aiming. That's pretty good, I guess. I wonder what it means by highlighted. We'll have to play with that. We'll have to see what that's about. So he, th he says it's not going to end well. That's probably just because he knows the hat looks better on us. He can't stand it. The undeniable truth is eating away at him. So we have Boone and Eddie. I figured you could only have one or the other, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Unless this is a glitch. Hopefully it's not. But anyway, I think that's probably a good place to stop. We have a new friend who is a little bit moody, let's be honest. But I can't really blame him after what he's been through. Anyway, we'll have fun adventures with him next time, guys. So thank you as always. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.